Hello and welcome to the show your parents and teachers are too afraid to watch. The Headiest Blog. Today, two escorts rage quit on the Whatever Podcast. This should be a hoot. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. Sure, sure. Um, okay, so I think we... Oh, I, I had it. By the way, please let me know if the volume issues and the balance has been restored. If... Just tell me if the video is too loud or my voice is too loud or something and I'll, I'll edit it in the... Something happened that reset my settings and they're not perfect anymore. So, just let me know, okay? Let me know in the comments. Wanted to know, how long have you guys all been doing sex work? Mm. Yeah, 15 years, I would say, about. F disaster. 15 years? Yeah. Okay. And the scope of the sex work, has it always, like, did you start out, like, dancing or stripping? And then did it transition into, you know, escorting? Any, I went right into the bunny ranch. Straight And in. I started a, a real escort. Straight in. And okay. then I've, I got my master's degree, so I... I'll I mean, guys, you can't make this crap up. Strong, independent woman, right here. I'll come in and out. At the beginning, Dennis Hoff wanted me to do jump on the HBO special and do publicity, and I said, no, my son is young. I spent no more than a week and a half, a month working, and then mm -hmm. I'd be home being um, a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. and put my son through private school. And Wait, what? So she was a single mom and did this for money. I, I see. Okay. Privileges that men don't have. You see? Guy can't work a week a month and be rich unless, you know, he worked for 30 years building that business that allowed him to work for a week a month. And then that inspired me to want to be a teacher. And so I went and I've been a teacher and I've been v VP of business growth at an active management wealth company. I did real estate during COVID. So coming in and out of, of white collar work's been important for me because I know that, you know, I've got other things that I can do if I don't. I see. So again, this is the power of normalizing um, bedroom fun work is that these girls can sell their bodies and then still be okay working in a regular industry. There is no punishment. There is no negative consequence for doing awful, you know, awful things, right? Like things that literally degenerate society and relationships. Anyway, I don't want to do this tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so I, well, I've been doing sex work since I was 21. Uh, Stop the cop. Um, I, in high school, I was always kind of conservative. Look at how happy the girl to the right is. Oh, another one. But actually, it's the crabs in the bucket, right? She's she's happy that another girl has went and, you know, is dragged down in the dirt with her. I came up from a really religious home and uh, clearly it worked uh, pretty much when I got out of high school a lot of people thought I was gay um, or they would call me dyke um, a lot yeah wow. I would get called that a lot because I would I'd wear pantsuits I'd wear black I'd smoke cigarettes and just kind of be by myself lovely and uh I remember, I remember it was Valentine's Day one time and they were like, I was like, oh, I don't have a Valentine. I don't have a guy. And they're like, guy, I thought you were gay. And I was like, what? And so I, <laughs> my friend, my friend was a, a dancer at the time. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should explore the side of my sexuality. Ah, I see. So nobody at home to, you know, to tell you that what you're doing is stupid. And um, there you go. And try to come out of my shell because I'm kind of tired of being called like gay when I'm when I'm not, you know. And um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just mm -hmm. didn't want uh, that to be called that. And so. So she's saying it was strong and empowering. It was an independent decision. You see anything to anything to um, deflect the fact that it's it you know it's a bad it's a horrible decision. It'll destroy your life. Uh, it's bad for society. No. Everything that I do is okay. It's strong and empowered. All right. So I did dancing and uh, I did dancing for like five years. Then I did Playboy. And after Playboy, um, I worked independently. And then that's... Look at how strong and empowered it sounds. When I got into the... Oh. 
Oh, sweet tooth. Thanks for the gift of 20 memberships. Yeah. And that's when you got into... Well, uh, I had... I was a victim of a crime. And uh, okay. in, obviously here, I, I won't go... Yeah, and, sure. Yeah, sure. I go into super detail. But um, my friend was a porn star at the time. Her name is Misty Matrix. And she referred me to the ranch. And then now here. Everything's been... I see. Yeah. So everything is great and fine yep you should make friends with girls in that industry you should totally sell your body everything's totally fine guys there's there's nothing wrong with it it's strong and empowered great decisions great what what could go wrong and safe and good sense okay got it that's good uh what about you 16 years off and on so full-time 11. i started when i was 18. Mm -hmm. got it what about you um i started when i was none of these girls look damaged at all guys they're Perfect. 17. I always say I feel like I'm still in sex work. Stop the cat. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Did, <laughs> Excuse I did, I did, you. No, no, no. I did not mean to press that. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I started that, that when was I was not... 17. That's actually a crazy story, but I started when I was 17. And Doesn't that mean you're below legal age? And I danced for 10 years, and I feel like I'm still in sex work. It just... Quote, unquote, danced. Okay. Looks different now. Sure. Okay. And you've totally ceased, correct? Um, or yeah, like I don't go, I don't strip or escort anymore. I see. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. What about you? Well, I started working at the front desk of a BDSM dungeon in New York City when oh. I was 18 years old. Is it still around? It's st look at how happy she looks. Still is. What's it called? I'm degenerate and uh, I'm proud. Well, it's a privately owned oh, okay. club, right. so it's <laughs> very, very much so. <laughs> okay. That's how I got my start. Is it like a swingers thing, too? No, or? it Just, was a okay. private BDSM, BDSM? club. Okay. Where people I like that uh, he's he's getting a massage and the girl's wearing a Viva and that a mask. I think the guy is secretly a freak, the whatever podcast guy. But anyway, he's got a girl with the, with the hat. He probably pays her to do that. He's got a doll here. Like... So, so just something tells me people go to receive a variety of sensations oftentimes on the more severe end of things <laughs> oh, from oh. professionals who know what they're doing oh. and are able to do so in a way that is safe mm -hmm. risk aware if there are any risks mm -hmm. and of course very consensual sounds uh like a pr campaign manager i'll bet it's not as uh lovely as she's making it sound i see Okay. And yeah. you worked the front desk. I did. How long were you on the front desk? I was Look at how happy and proud she is. On the front desk for about two years, and I was also in charge of organizing the educational track. So I was able to attend all these different classes and learn all these different cool, kinky things. Okay. You see, it's like, it's not an old degenerate. It's cool, it's empowered, it's strong, she's proud of herself. You see? You see, guys? What could possibly be wrong with promoting this sort of thing? This is how they try to suck you in with this PR stuff, right? But actually, it's horrible and degenerate for society, right? Nobody's calling it out. Okay. And eventually became an educator myself. Gotcha. And so you... Educator. You, you said how long have you been in the industry? I've like, been uh, in it. Oh actually gosh. escorting or i've been working within the ranches since 2015 so almost 10 years now okay got it i'm curious so and when the looks fade and all that who will care no one so how many look at the guy the guy looks concerned the guy with the blue shirt here in a day how many clients do you see i'm only seeing now now know, know these days and i get to vet them very carefully i only see like clean professionals i see regulars so uh, you know people i've built relationships with mm -hmm. maybe two guys a week oh two guys if that, yeah not much what mm. uh, does anyone else see something wrong with this picture by the way um when the girl is older it's obvious that she's not going to have as many clients right that's logical a long um, time ago you yeah know, when you were at the ranch or whatever that like. was a wild uh, you know when the hbo special was really really popular um dennis hoff was just driving tons of people in from all over the world and sometimes maybe it would be as many as like five or seven guys a day that mm -hmm. or in couples too we did a lot of couples so women five to seven guys a day 
So that's what? Five times seven, minimum 35 a week? Yeah, that would break you in like two weeks. Included. Gotcha. And that's, and that's a lot, but um, it's um, a physical energy and I'm an athlete and mm. it's one of those. I see. You're an athlete, huh? Any way to rationalize bad decisions and bad behavior, I understand. Those things, it's like... You Look at the girl two to her right and her reaction to this. Oh my, look at what she's, look at the garbage she's spewing. And look, the disdain from the girl uh, wearing the pink top as well is huge. Huh. You get going, you get your juices going and you, you want to keep going. Sex athlete? <laughs> yes. Or like a different kind of athlete? It, well, it, I've never heard of that. I, I can't explain it. You just, you want to go back for more sometimes when... Yeah, when yeah because she's uh, addicted to dopamine, obviously but a soul is broken and you're making good money and you have this this um amazing physical experience and the serotonin's going okay. um you know and i was a lot younger and i just wanted to head on out there for more but now yep that about describes it it sounds like what kevin samuels said she was doing rocket as it were right it's just her substance of choice I'm training in the gym. As you can see, she turned out great. Gym like half the day. No, no. Maybe maybe one guy a week, maybe two guys a week. Sure. Um, you know, maybe they'll fly me over and we'll spend a weekend together. I like to be a travel companion. Uh -huh. I like to spend, you know, long durations with these guys that I build a relationship with. How, how often with. are you traveling? Again, like this is any anything to like, you know, protect the image, rehabilitate the image, you know, like... Anything to hide the reality of the fact of what she's doing from everybody. Anything to hide it, right? Like, you could not hire a, a PR manager to do it better than this girl. Like being a travel companion? I don't want to be expelled from the social group, so I'm an expert at deflecting and redirecting blame and negative uh, energy away. Traveling monthly. Okay. So, Has yeah. the panel talked oh. about abortion slash contraception? How does everyone feel about and month abortions? I asked Beck as a teen mom I had an early abortion and it broke my soul. It came up as a $20 super chat. That's weird. Hmm. I, already, I already showed it. To oh, um, that must be something buggy with our thing. Uh, go, on, go on, continue. Yeah, so um, I really appreciate just quality, you know, quality relationships, ongoing friendships. Also, guys, what's really good about this is you can hear, right? You can hear a professional and how she talks, so you can avoid that in the future, right? If you ever hear, like, this sort of thing, it's a gigantic red flag, and just don't associate with these people. Uh, as they say in The Laws of Power by Robert Greene, The 48 Laws of Power, avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. So, this would be an example. Um, and I appreciate, you know, spending a, a great deal of time with people, but um, I'm training... How does the panel feel about late I'm not sorry. I'm, um, I'm training Good. as a fitness competitor these days, so half my day is in the gym. So, um, you know, I'm not going to be getting it on all day. I see. Okay. Anymore. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, let me hold on. I need to fix that. Now that she's old, right? But when she was young, different story, as she said. At one sec, guys. That's bugged out. Um, how often are you seeing clients? So, you know, typically I try to do, you know, just one person, like, if, I mean, I don't generally book every single day, but if I could get one person in the day, that would be great. If by chance there happened to be like someone, they said, no, uh, this is the only day I can do it. And I really want, to, you know, run to see you. And I'm not going to turn them down. Um, but typically I try to keep it one in the 24 hours, but if. Okay. So that's seven guys per week. So per month is about 28, right? That'll break you in two months. If there just happened to be... By the way, if you're wondering why I'm saying that, it's because after about an encounter of 50, a girl's unable to pair bond anymore. She's not good for long-term relationships. So, there you go. You can break that oxytocin um, ability to pair bond. 
if you use it too much as a girl, right? For a guy, he needs to have 10 times as many girls. So for a guy, after about an encounter of 500, he's not able to pair bond anymore. Most men never reach that number. So. Another one, I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to shut you off. Yeah. Well, when you were at the working on one of the ranches, how many people were you seeing then? Um, in a day. Uh, okay, or so in a week, I guess. Well, it, you know, and again, that that depends. So maybe, maybe you know, maybe that day I saw three guys, and then the next day I, I got three times seven is twenty-one. Busy. I went to the gym, and then and then I didn't happen to book that day, and then maybe the next day I I saw you know two guys. So you know, I would say on average maybe five. I saw the guys. You see. She doesn't say, I slept with him. She says, I was seeing him. So notice the wording, guys. When girls say they're seeing someone, that's what it means. Five guys weekly, um, you know. In so that would break you in six weeks. Sorry, ten weeks. Apparently I can't multiply five times ten. In recent times, in recent times. Okay. Yeah. And I In recent times. Also, did you notice the body language change of the girl to her right? The second that she lied, she uh, scratched her head. Yeah, because that's an obvious lie. I, but I've, I've also learned I, I want to pace myself. Want to. It doesn't mean she did or she does. And I don't want to mm -hmm. spend my whole day there. I spend half the day out and about. I go wow. hiking, I go to the gym, I go with the girls out, mm -hmm. and I've, I've kind of learned to ebb and flow my energy and, and how much I give of myself. Mm -hmm. I've learned to, which means in the past she didn't. Okay, got it, got yeah. it. Uh, what about you when you were in the industry? Maybe if you had to average it Is out. Is that a wedding ring she has on? Like how many guys in a day would you see? I, I would say probably about 10. 10 per day. 10 a day. Okay. Gotcha. On, on slow seasons, five. And if someone paid more money, I spent more time with them, obviously. And yeah. if I traveled, that was one person a day. So she finally the first girl that isn't lying. By the way, that would break you in a week. So, but during busy seasons, like if Formula One came which it never did before, so mm -hmm. yeah. the first time. Uh, big sporting events, probably like 15. Uh, a in day. the escort service in Las Vegas. That's crazy. The more calls you get, the more money you make, and the escort services that I used to work for pushed us to get as many calls in as we could. So. Yeah, that's what it is for every girl. These girls are just, you know, beating around the bush. Oh, it's like, you got 20 minutes, go, I got five lined up after this one. And okay. so unfortunately, that's part of their game. Um, they try to make as much money as possible sure. off each person. Gotcha. What that sounds like what every other girl experienced. I'll bet. What's the most you've ever seen in, in one day? Oh, gosh. I've never counted that. A lot. Maybe because of a bachelor party, 20. 20. That's insane. In a day? 20. 25. 25? Okay. What like about rushed. you guys? 10 maybe 10 in the day yeah. I think 10 when I first started 10. yeah gotcha what about you? you see when the girl is young and new they want to you see you see guys you so when I was when I was escorting I was I just want to say like it's important to note that escorts prostitutes like whatever you want to call them we still have the ability to like choose who we want to be with. So it's not like this thing where it's just like a guy's coming in and we're like, yes, 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 yes to everybody. We still have the option to choose. The option doesn't mean that they do. So for me in particular, I was very choosy. Um, and I again, she's just trying to protect her reputation, right? Even though <laughs> her reputation is already wrecked. But she's going to try to make herself look better than the other girls, right? After hearing this, oh, I'm not like everyone else. I'm different. I, like you were saying, I, I really enjoyed having just like longer term customers. So for me, it'd be like one a month. Cap. If that, and I was very, very like, would only be with like celebrities, celebrities mm -hmm. or athletes. I that, see. That
Stop the cop. You're just a liar. It was just my standard, though. Mm -hmm. well, so the, like, that was the criteria you used to measure? Yeah, I, I held, like, a, I guess a standard. So I would be like, okay, if this is like, a, I would never go with, like, a, regu a regular person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, would, so is that yeah. kind of, like, around the table, the same thing? Like, what are the standards? Uh, like, what's the standard? Like... I very funny that when he says that, some of the girls are like, what's standard? This person is a yes, this person's oh. a no. Who somebody is matters a whole lot more, at least for me personally, mm -hmm. than yeah. anything else. And by that I mean the quality of the person. Are they going to be treating me well? Are they coming in with good intentions? Yeah. I want to have a good experience just as much as the other person does. I don't care what somebody necessarily looks like on a physical level, mm -hmm. their height, their weight. I certainly care if they're of legal age. I certainly care that they want to be there. PR campaign manager and, and uh, reputation protector. Look at how she answers. They're consensually of their own free will. But like, I, I'm not looking for celebrities. I oftentimes mm -hmm. find that my guests with disabilities are those the ones that treat me the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you say how many clients that you see? No, mm -hmm. I oh. typically am only available by appointment only. I okay. see maybe two to three people a week, if a that, week. and okay. Even at that's a lot. The absolute most. I'm like y'all are out here doing the most. <laughs> I'm over here like I saw three people once, and that was really stressful. And it's very uh -huh. stressful. In a day? What's yeah. the most you've seen in one day? Three. Three. And I'm over here like y'all are doing 25. <laughs> Damn. It's a lot. On the you see, just anything to protect the reputation. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I find that the quality of the services that I'm able to provide is really important to me. And if I'm focused on like a quantity <laughs> sort of sure. thing, I don't really know if that's going. Except you are providing quantity and not quality by definition being a bedroom fund worker. You do realize that, right? going to okay. result in good experiences for everyone. A little earlier on in the conversation, um, you guys had mentioned getting arrested. Uh. For what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've so never been. Oh, shoot. Never, Olivia, Olivia, you've never first. been? No, okay. my clients Lauren, are, let's, are let's hear. What was officers. it? Murder? Are, all Manslaughter? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking here? So, okay. Illicit substances, all bad. Okay, so... I was, it, during Playboy days, um, we would go out to the club and I didn't want to be at the club anymore. I just wanted to walk back to my brother's hotel room because mm -hmm. he got a hotel room. And uh, it, it technically wasn't an arrest, but I was picked <clears throat> up in the cop car and taken to the police department because I didn't have an ID on me. I guess I lost it. And they thought that I was walking around and, you know, propositioning mm -hmm. and uh, I get taken to the police department in Las Vegas and I'm sitting in the cell room and I I see this one lady by the toilet just me, staring a hole through me. Like I was just like, oh my God, I'm so scared. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this other lady was just kind of lurking as well. And finally I was just like, oh God, I hope they come in and like figure out I'm a real person. And I'm, you know, and they don't, because they were checking my criminal record to see if, you know, anything came up. And sure enough, the guy's like, all right, you can leave. He's like, get, let, me, let me get you out of here. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, just don't do that again. And I was like, all right. And I walked right back to my brother's place. Don't do what? Wow. Don't uh. walk outside? Uh. Don't be a woman in public? I, like... That's not what the problem was. <laughs> again, you think the police doesn't have like a record of who works where and what they do? They do. So. Right. Yeah. Be cute. Yeah. Sounds whack. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Stop the cap. The only standard is the cash hits the table or the credit card clears. Remember, men do not pay uh, bedroom fund workers to stay. They pay them to leave. Stop the cap. The only standard is the cash hits the table or the credit card clears. Remember, men do not pay hookers to stay. They pay them to leave. Oh. Mm. oh. That's okay. what the guys at the poker games would say. Oh. Opinion, though. Yeah. Okay. Opinion. That is Let's, an opinion. Um, yeah. Okay. Nice I wonder how many sex workers that man has paid. Grid one motorsports. You see, she's trying to, uh, she's trying to put him down monetarily, to protect her reputation. How many? How many how has it been? But clearly, that uh, that offended her. See. Um, so to be fair to Grid One, he he's trying to spice the show up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it's extremely boring. Oh, according to, let's grid, spice it according, up. according to Grid One. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's spice it up. So uh, yeah, so, let's do it. Well, you, you said you were arrested a couple times. Oh as it related goodness! To Twenty-five times. Twenty-five oh. times. What? 
Gosh. 24 times as an escort. Jeez. Uh, the wow. first one was For actually, what? you know that cop show, remember that? Yeah. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were not on it. What you going to do? Yeah. I yeah. begged the vice not to put me on that show. Stop. I said, my me? parents, no. Oh. But the person that started that show is the first person that ever arrested me. <gasps> oh, Bill yes. Young. Ooh. And with my friend Roxanne, and it was really embarrassing, but... Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, they solicited me and the money was on the table and then when I got out from the bathroom because of course we have to make sure the room's safe he had his badge right where his parts were oh. he had no clothes on I was like what are you what? doing mm-hmm. that's he started, so inappropriate oh yeah. Yeah. That's really so anyway all that to say messed up. You know, going, to, going to jail was like I was bawling my eyes out I, I'll never forget what I had it wasn't the act of being the bedroom fun worker that made her ball. It was that she was caught and that her reputation would be hurt. You notice that? No remorse. I had on a BB sweater with a little like patent white leather heart with patent leather white pants, patent leather beautiful heels with studs on them. You guys, I looked like a dynamo that night. <laughs> and I was so like mad because it was my first call and it was at the Stardust Hotel, you guys. Oh. I'm gonna cry because I love the Stardust Hotel. It's it got like, blown up. What, all, the, all the times oh, yeah. that you got arrested, yeah. how oh um, it was all for solicitation, prostitution? Solicitation and loitering. For Loiter- solic- Disaster. All right, let's end the video there. Shout out to Hunter M, Adrian L. Tom, and Bobby Dylan, Renaissance Press, and Brian, most recent Patreon subscriber. Thank you. Um, again, my Patreon can be found at patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. If you're interested in coaching, message me at the Helios blog at gmail.com. I'll slot you right in. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.